This message is for my beautiful cancers. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Welcome. If you haven't already hit that bell button, hit that bell button at the bottom so you can get a notification each time I upload. 101 could be something like that. Something could have happened in the summertime. You could have been through a lot with this person. Somebody feel like they didn't get a fair shot with you. Telepathic. Brand, ooh, random thoughts, intense feelings brought about you by your twin. Twin flame. Notice patterns, images, or numbers in your day-to-day -day that remind you of your, of your person. So this person is being reminded of you constantly. Something happened in particular. I'm trying to get this card off the floor. Something happened in particular in the summertime with you and this person. Okay, Sunseeds? This person could be um, sending you messages through songs, you know, bills, billboards while you're driving, um, angel numbers, anything, you know, that reminds you of this person. What's this? Yes. Spirit said yes. Absolutely yes. I heard earlier somebody want to risk it all. They don't care. Like, somebody wants this connection with you. Pisces. Dark night of the soul. So this person could be going through some type of awakening. You could be a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Somebody could have been afraid of commitment issues. I mean, could have been afraid of commitment. They could have commitment issues. Somebody could have possibly had karmic ties or responsibilities somewhere else. And that could have been a reason why this person could have come towards you. What's this? Energy, Holy Spirit. Come on. So something is maybe, yes, dark night of the soul, Aries, we dealing with an Aries, or great source of power. So let's give me a divine, um, this is a, a, a like a power couple, divine counterparts. The dream team of change. It says the dream team of change, but when I, when I seen it, my, um, my third eye read, um, teamwork makes the dream work. That's what my third eye read, but it says the dream team of change. Reunion creates growth, okay? So somebody is ready to change. This person, the reason why something could have been either delayed or in stagnation um, is because somebody had to release somebody, let someone go. This person has gone through a dark night. So 27 could be significant, 82. Yeah. Somebody had to close out a cycle for a brand new beginning. Could be this Aries. Somebody could have Aries and a Venus. Mm-hmm. Or you could be a sun sign, Aries. But this is somebody who's very passionate about you uh, when it comes to this connection. This person could be um, a leader in some sort. But this person is very ambitious um, of having, you know, uh, working towards getting this um, connection together. This person could sometimes be aggressive, have mood swings, or be impatient. But I feel like it's some type of, whatever they're going through with some symptoms, they, this person going through a dark night of the soul, and they need your help. This person feels like you're the only one that can understand them or get them. This person could be feeling like out of place from the world. This person is trying to find their identity, or was. This person could have went through this around the summertime. This person is, yeah, mm -hmm. a Virgo in a tor um, turmoil. So you could, okay, you could be a Virgo. Somebody could have been doubting if this connection was, um, you know, if I'm supposed to be on on this journey with this connection, I'm supposed to be mad with this person. Somebody got, um, somebody on feeling, uh, feeling empty. Maybe a lot of people are walking away from this person. This person feels like they don't have nobody. And they constantly think about you. Somebody somebody is trying to shake off how they're feeling, but it's hard for them because they actually, they, they somebody is shredding. Like the old of them is, is they're going through a thought right of the soul. So what they once did, what they once believed in, everything is getting shredded away. 
Yeah, I can't make it up. New beginnings. So they can have this new beginning. Fresh start with an open mind. Knowing where you lack in the past and using that to create success. Allowing yourself to accept changes that might bring good things to you. Four and six, breaking down to a ten. Ten, ten speaks about completion for new beginnings. Yeah, someone is um starting over, okay? Planting the seed, okay? Whatever that is, watering it every day, watching it grow. I'm hearing somebody is now stronger than ever. Yeah, whatever this dark night is so so was, whatever this um whatever this pause was in this connection with this great source of um power a power couple, it was um like this this dark night and soul wasn't supposed to be easy on this person. It was supposed to shred everything that they once believed in, how they did things, everything to get them to get ready to come into union. What's this card? Yeah, runner. This person could have been a runner in the past. Yeah. I don't feel like this person... Oh, child. They ain't running no more. Yeah. Afraid of doing the work. Um, Selfish. Fears change in the unknown. Afraid of intimacy and awakening. Doesn't feel worthy of your time, energy, and needs. Constant validation. Wow. So this person kept running from doing up the work. Spirit is saying, no, 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 no. They ain't going to have to sit down and do it. This person could be scared or felt scared. They didn't know, <coughs> excuse me, they didn't know what was going to happen or how things was going to happen. Yeah, surrender. They had to surrender. Um, Spirit is saying they protected. Yeah, inner child healing. This person had to do some inner child healing. Spirit is saying, yeah, somebody was out here just running around, but they, they inner child it needed nurturing, you know? Somebody had to really go back to, like, the basics. Yeah, somebody had to get to the root of the matter. Somebody was acting out a certain way and doing things a certain way, being confused when it came to connections and running. It's because somebody, yeah, they had to get to the root of the matter. Somebody in the child was holding them back. Give me more of this theory on the runner. Yeah, this person could have been somebody who's easily influenced, meaning they listen to people so quickly, opinions, unreliable, um, easily influenced by others in their viewpoints, unpleasant opinions, creating doubt and deny you of a connection. Somebody was listening to others. Yeah, this person was very, um, could have been someone who only cared about worldly things. No, if you told this person that they was your divine counterpart anyway. And I'm not out here telling you guys to tell people that because you don't know how. Unless you know what type of time this person on, you know, because, you know, you know, you being awakened and you telling somebody that's unawakened, you know, you know, you're my soul man, you know, you're my soul man. They probably look at me like, what the hell are you, you doing some spell on me or something? Because they don't, they don't, they don't understand, you know, they don't understand um, those type of um, powerful, strong connections, you know, um, yeah, so anyway, this person is was was, uh, was easy to be influenced with others when it came to, you know, le allowing them to have opinion on this connection. And, you know, uh, well, you know, opinions is only really is meaning the way you can't decide on your own. Okay? Because, yeah, granted, everybody is, has the right to have their own opinion. But for you to be open enough to allow somebody to see confirmation, to even have an opinion on your connection, it's, it's because you can't make a decision. That's what that is. So this person became the runner. Okay? They was easily influenced. So something happened around the summertime. Spirit set this person down to go through this. Yeah. Yeah, future focus. Chaser. So you guys could have been out here just, you know, focused on your future, your businesses, your job, you know, school. You guys could have been chasing, you know, your, you know, your future success, you know, um, your, you know, I, I don't want to say the abundance, but, you know, your legacy, what you're trying to create and build and leave behind. Because Spirit is saying with you and this person, it's giving me like Ten of Pentacles energy, creating legacies. I said, um, future focus, strong self of sense, feeling hopeful, awakening, 
being in alignment with connection, positive outlook on life, and focusing on your future. So you guys have been out here focusing on your future. You know? I feel like the, who, the person who once was the runner is now going to be the chaser. And some of you guys might be in this runner energy. <laughs> yeah. Maybe because you guys are, you know, um, so focused on your career at this time. Take it how it resonates. But unawakening and free will. Yes, I'm telling you, this person was unawakening and free will. Spirit couldn't force this person to go through awakening. Not at all. Spirit could not do that. This person had to be willing and um, to go through this awakening on their own. 444, the beast, the very much protection. There's a lot of protection out here. But this person had the free will if they wanted to go through this or not. Spirit is saying it's your time, Sunseeds. Something that you've been working on is, is about to blossom. It says, unawakening, fear of losing their old life feels something is missing but is in denying you. Physically blocking and ignoring the connection. Yeah, this person was blocking and ignoring this connection because they didn't want to, they didn't want to, um, they didn't want to change their life. You know what it's like going through a, well, of course, some of you guys do know, go, going through a dark night in the soul. You mean I got to change everything? You mean to tell me what I was doing 20-something years, 30-something years, 40-something years, 50-something years, 60-something years, for some 70, 80-something years who's watching me? You mean to tell me that all of that that I have learned and been doing that long, I got to unlearn that because that was the wrong way? <laughs> yeah, that's what Spirit is saying. This person had the free will if they wanted to do that or not. Not everybody ready to leave the matrix. Not everybody is ready to like, you know, tap into, you know, their higher self. But somebody, because you know, whoever this person is, I feel like they they decided to do it. And they, they look, look how long. They feel like they out of space. They feel like nobody gets them with the help card. Nobody see them. Nobody paying on no mind. So this person could have been like in isolation, like in solitude. And all they could do is think about you. You know? You know? The reason why this person was considering opinions from other people because they was they couldn't decide. They didn't they didn't, they couldn't decide. Okay. Give me more Holy Spirit. Free will. Having the capacity to make their own decisions without, without, uh, without opinions from others. Yeah, this person had to step into the, you know, they hire self. Mm -hmm. Free will, Holy Spirit. Patience. That's all it took. That's all it was needed was patience. Some of you guys, um, you could have been like, well, Mystic, I didn't, you know, I didn't know, um, I don't think they ever going to wake up, and I don't think they ever going to change it. It's not going to happen on your time. It's when, you know, you know, when the divine say it's time. And this person don't have no, you know, no choice but to like, okay, this is what you want to do, divine, like, here, I'm right here backing you up, 444, I'm going to protect you, but... It ain't gonna be. It ain't gonna. You all them friends used to have, all them people that used to be around you, all them fake people that used to. Spirit like you ain't gonna have none of that. You're gonna be by yourself now. You are gonna be by yourself. Yeah. Somebody, is you ready to leave these karmics behind? Cosmic love, connected in a five D, regardless if disconnected in a three D. Intense or strong feelings that they feel are everlasting, powerful, or otherwise irresistible. Yeah, this is a cosmic love. Something could be significant about September 22nd through November 6th. It's like somebody got tired of um, settling. Yeah. Somebody got tired of settling. Somebody felt like they, they felt their life falling apart. No matter what they try to build, they felt like things just kept crumbling down. This is somebody who wants to do this for themselves 
and 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 not only for themselves, you know, because they do want this connection with you, but this is somebody that's just tired of getting the same goddamn results. March 20th to May 5th could be significant. You were the only thing spirit, you was the only thing solid in this person's life. Yeah. Triggered. I get so emotional when your name comes up. When I see something that reminds me of you, you trigger something inside of me that caused me to feel uncomfortable in my own skin. I don't understand these emotions. Wow. Seven, seven, warning. This person, this connection, that's what I'm saying. Like, this person could possibly think that you guys put like some type of spell on them because I heard earlier, if this person was unawakening and you was already awakening by you telling this person, you know, you're my soulmate or you're my twin flame, da da da. I know this and I know this is because you know you already tapped in. You know, you can see things, you can feel things, and you can know when it comes to other, um, you know, other rams and stuff like that. But this person could have been like, oh, what you talking about? Why I keep thinking about you? Why every time I turn around, I'm being reminded of you? This person could have possibly thought you put some type of spell on them. I'm telling you, it says triggered in reverse. I get so emotional when your name comes up or when I see something that reminds me of you. You trigger something inside of me that caused me to feel uncomfortable in my own skin. I don't understand these emotions. Yeah, you trigger this person to go through their awakening. Because whatever that light is on you, mm-mm. It shine, it shine brightly on what was in them that it is to change. I cannot make it up. Twin flame. Wow, spirit. Yeah. Purpose, purpose to live life separately, learning, learning lessons, possible reunion after becoming stronger and awakening. Okay. So spirit is saying, as long as this person was unawakening and you were, there were gonna be a separation. Okay, because this person needed to learn some type of lessons. Okay, before coming into union with you. Now, the Spirit is saying, possible reunion after becoming stronger and awakening. So, as this person go through this awakening, okay, and go within, the Spirit is saying, there can be a reconciliation of two divine counterparts that's meant to be together. Is <coughs> Excuse me. Like, come on, one to It says single soul split in half before reincarnating into two separate bodies. Wow. Yeah, of course. You know, with some gossip. Okay. So again, gossip and watching. Time is ticking. Soul meat. Pisces. Illusions. Karmic partner. So it could have been a karmic partner. Okay. A karmic partner. Okay. Someone who was full of drama, um, trying to keep you guys apart. What karma partners come down here to do anyway? Be a karma, teach you lessons, okay? And it, especially when you know it, you know for certain that this you have a twin flame, a divine counterpart. It's either you work on yourself, do what you got to do for yourself, which I see you guys doing. I'm not saying wait. But usually when these other people that come in between or come in your life in between, it, it just usually be lessons. It usually be lessons. If somebody is learning a lesson about a karmic partner, okay? They test us and our um, they test us and our understanding of love and relationships. So karmic spirit is saying this karmic partner was supposed to come to this person like to test them, okay, on their love and relationships. Somebody is realizing this is not who I want. They're not. This could be somebody who spent a lot of time on the phone, crying, possibly, missing you. Things could have either moved too fast with you guys. Something could have just, like, you know, happened real quick for you guys. Yeah, self-love under the bottom. Visionary. I feel like this is you. Destiny. Divine feminine. Somebody knows that... You, they supposed, it's definitely destined for you guys to be on this path together. Okay? 
destiny. You were de you were destined to meet strong, unbreakable bond, passionate love, and strong desire, deep in the knowing of divine connection. This person knows who you are to them, divine feminine. Yes. They know who you are. And they know exactly who the hell that karmic partner was. Just, just came in their life to teach them a lesson. You know, um, somebody could be realizing that something was just an illusion. Okay? Somebody is now waking up like, this is not my, you're not my person? Divine feminine, compassionate, love life, soft, understanding, insight, empathy, creation, birth, renewal, healing, restoration, acceptance, connection, oneness, and nurturing and growth. This is you, Divine Feminine. Yeah, you fulfill this person. Gemini energy, fulfill, ego-driven. Somebody was surrender. Yeah, somebody ego and pride um, was driving them to surrender when it came to this connection. I heard you. Somebody could be Aquarius, small offer. Somebody wants to offer you something. Leo, give me more Holy Spirit. What's the time ticking? Time ticking. Angel numbers and symbols. Somebody is receiving a lot of angel numbers and symbols. Positive movement forward, divinely guided towards union. Multiple messages through different forms. This person is getting so many messages about you. Yeah, magical muse. Somebody ended something with a karmic. <clears throat> Somebody realizing that it was under some type of illusion. It was not real. They didn't have no business being with that person. That person was only in their life to teach them a lesson. Fragment, uh, fragment of the soul. Significant drama from past. Irrational, unexplained fears. Checking out in certain situations. Overreaction to small problems. Yeah. Somebody really had to go within. And realize the reason why they're the way that they are because somebody went through something as a child. They could suffer from abandonment issues. Maybe when this person was a child and he did things, they was uh, disciplined in a, in a very h harsh way. Maybe this person doesn't know how to express their feelings because nobody was allowed them to, you know? So this person, being that they didn't heal that part of them, they bleed out on others in relationships. And it affected their heart space. Somebody had to go back, 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 back in the day and find out. Go go grab that in the child, pick them up and say, I got you. You know? Then somebody had to nurture that part of them. And get regret. Afraid they made the wrong decision. Feels troubled or remorseful of what has happened. Sees you happy while they are miserable and can't move on. So this person feels like you're happy chasing your dreams and they're they feel they're miserable. Somebody was avoiding the change when it came to this awakening. And look at you, glow up. Divine Masculine. Okay, okay. Divine Masculine said you had a glow up. Glow up. Overcoming illnesses and negativity. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Overcoming illness and negativity. Feeling confident and being on the right path in life. Connecting with others. Positive vibes and new phase of life. Divine masculine, somebody like this, she go, this she go, there he go. <laughs> yeah, somebody feels like you just over here, you know, living this life without remorse. You know, you're happy, and I'm over here miserable. Um, you know, with you know, with this karmic that's not even real, it was an illusion. Somebody is, somebody is, one of somebody is so much regret for what they did to their twin twin. Somebody wants you to be patient with them. Divine masculine. Yeah, I'm here. If I get another chance, like, I'll make things right. Somebody is ready to, like, risk it all. Somebody does not want to lose you. Somebody hope that you know that they do not want you to, I mean, want to lose you. I heard they do not want you to get away. Somebody is trying to do the work. I'm here and trying, but they don't know it's too late with you. Wow. Divine masculine. Clarity of focus, generosity of heart, powerful, ambitious, discipline, largeness of mind, risk-taking, strength, 
strict of body, okay, fierce, protective, and action oriented. Look at the little I man ass on there, okay? This was Spirit is saying this here, okay? This person was in denial, denial. It says denial of connection too fast or too soon. So something happened too fast between you, you and this person. This person's like, no. Oh, hell no. This person, let me get on, let me get on them out of here. Yeah, because they broke in. Somebody needs to heal their inner child. And, th and this is, I know people say this a lot, but this is some real life shit. Like, you, you really got to do that. Ain't no way in heck you should be bleeding on another person that of something that happened to you 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years ago that that was not there, was not present, and wouldn't dare do that to you because a real divine being wouldn't dare hurt anyone intentionally. Never. That's that they went ever for anything they would try to help and and, and, and nurture you and, and, and cater to that spot that they know where they, they already can see the weakness in you. They will not make you hurt more. It's not fair that people won't heal and they bleeding on other people. And it's making me emotional because it's some real live stuff. It's not right. Why should somebody that loves you has to go through pain and hurt because of what your mama did, what you went through, your father went through. Like, that's not, they didn't do it to you. Why should they be a punching bag? Why should they get beat up? And why should they be hurt because of what you went through? We all went through something as a child. We all suffer from some type of trauma. But people are not going around hurting other people. People are healing themselves. That's why they're able to heal other people. People are being open to learning. Teachers, healers are being open to learning because they know they will forever be learning. Teachers know that they will forever be learning. Only an idiot think they know everything and they done learning. You know? Healers are healers because they're constantly healing. That's how they're able to heal other people. <sighs> That just took me somewhere else, so see, because this is this is tiring. You know, you gotta heal. But somebody was in denial of this connection because it was too fast or too soon. There's another or is another person involved, not ready for the deep connection, wrong timing, can't or won't commit, afraid of hurting you or hurting themselves. This person could suffer from like a mental illness or something. Scorpio. I'm sorry for accusing you of things you didn't even do. Wow. I'm going to read it again. I'm sorry for accusing you of things you didn't even do. I'm so used to hurting people. I assume you were just trying to hurt me too. I should have treated you better. Somebody going to hate the fact if you guys don't make, you know, they make it. You know, maybe you guys are so focused on, you know, your success and, you know, doing your own thing. Somebody, somebody is living with, living with the regret of what they did to you. This card, and you could, you don't have to be a Scorpio. Anybody could body any of these, you know, Zodiac sign energies. But this card literally just spoke about everything I just said without even me reading it. Somebody is saying, I'm sorry for accusing you of things you didn't even do. I'm so used to, I'm so used to people hurting me. I assume you were just trying to hurt me too. I should have treated you better. So just imagine somebody bleeding, somebody the pain for what somebody else done to them. You being a punching bag, you don't know where these these hits and these bones coming from. Whether it's emotionally, physically, whatever, and you didn't, you were not the one that caused it. This person could suffer from some type of issue because I'm trying to understand them as a healer, but it's still kind of like I'm getting like frank, like it, it's it's like a glass, like with sh like broken, broken, broken glasses. Yeah, spiritual practices, becoming aware to intuition and guides, meditating and releasing. Self-limited beliefs, working on inner healing and issues with codependency. So you guys can have some type of spiritual practice, or this person could be, you know, um, you know, going to get help. 
Something is to think about the winter time. Aquarius, forgiveness. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Oh, child. Got a head to girl crying. What? Yeah, juggling, having too much on their plate, dealing with multiple obligations at one time, unable to make decisions based on confused emotions. So this person got a lot going on. We got a cell phone. We got a weight. We got money. We got a wallet. We got a phone. So this person can have a lot of businesses they juggling. Um, this person just got a lot going on with themselves. This person is, yeah, this is a lot going on in this person's life. They might not even know if they're going or coming. Unsent messages. So if somebody wants to reach out to you. Intuition, light bulb. I'm sorry, light bulb. Moments of realization, direct knowledge from source without rational thought, a deep knowing, understanding with evidence. I feel like this is you. Your intuition be on it. This person wants to rebuild with you. They want to work on things with you. Uh, for a lot of you guys, this person feels like, you you know, they don't have enough to offer you. They feel like you fall, fall gone, you know, when it comes to your career. Um, or whatever your practice is, whatever you're studying, school. Um, somebody feels like they did a lot. But Spirit is saying, you know, we can't, listen, we can't force this person to go through this awakening. You know? This is somebody we're supposed to ever be a power couple with. You know? This is somebody who was choosing to settle with 3D things when they could have it all. All because they didn't want to change. They was afraid to change. Let's get some. Anything else, Holy Spirit, from the tarot? Let's go a little bit from the tarot. So I'll see this. King of Wands under the bottom. Page of Swords. This person's constantly, this is somebody who spies on you a lot. If you have any type of social media, this person, I'm telling you, they spy. Seven of Swords. This person feels stuck. What's this seven of swords? This person feels stuck. They hang me. I cannot make it up. They feel stuck. Temperance. But they're not really stuck. They just all in their head. Give me a card on the hang me. They could be hiding from you possibly that they feel stuck in a, in a karmic cycle. Four cups. Something that they 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 don't where they don't want to be. They feel bored at. They regret. What's the four of cups? So all they feel like they can do, nine of cups, all they feel like they can do is 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 watch you. Somebody could have thought that something was going to be wish fulfillment, but it was just nothing but an illusion. What's the nine of cups? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, the Hermit, Queen of Pentacles, and the World Card. Ten of cups. Yeah, somebody realized their happiness is over there with you. Yeah, somebody is in, this person's in solitude going through it. What's the world called Holy Spirit? They feel like they can't get no help from nobody. Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's the world called? The world? Empress. Four Swords. They feel like something came to rest with the Empress. The devil ate of swords. I'm telling you. Ooh, child. Somebody in their head. This person's in their head. They feel stuck, but they're not. This person was avoiding change. It's like the, the, the devil wanted them to think that they stuck, but they're not. What's the devil card? It's fear. It's fear. It's fear. You know fear is not real. Fear is illusion. Somebody making somebody... Somebody feel like they got to be stuck in a cycle where they don't have to be. Queen of Wands. The devil and the Queen of Wands. This could be somebody. Ooh. King of Pentacles. This Queen of Wands is trying to hold on to this person. Doing some type of magic to have this person think that they, they stuck to them. They're not stuck. What's the King of Pentacles? They could be doing some type of sex magic. King of Pentacles. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Sun card. 
King of Pentacles, somebody, Four of Wands, I'm sorry, King of Wands, Four of Wands. This person could have gave this person a, a, a commitment. Ten of Pentacles, the Temperance card, High Priestess. Ooh, child. Somebody could have possibly gave this, ooh, child. You could have been married to this person, and this person went out and cheated on you. With somebody who was doing some type of sex magic and had them stuck in the head, thinking they had the next best thing. <laughs> What's the eight of swords? That's not funny. What's the eight of swords? Eight of swords are clear fire with the eight of pentacles. I'm telling you, you're doing some work on that ad. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling you. Two of wands. Had them not knowing which way to go. Ooh, yeah. Page of wands. Five of swords. What's the sign? But I feel like whoever this King of Pinnacle is, they see something now. The sun is clarified with the Three of Wands, Ten of Cups. This person is going after their happiness. Yeah, they're not letting this person stand in their way. Hell no, the High Friend, to the Five of Wands, Ace of Swords. Whew. Somebody want to cause conflict and drama. When it comes to a divine connection, you guys could be married to this person. Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, Spirit is saying that's a damn true. Nine of Pentacles to the Ace of Pentacles, that's Ten of Pentacles. So this, this somebody's supposed to be married. That's why we see earlier, yeah, this power couple. Yeah, somebody was trying to hold this person to keep this person back from their twin. Wow. I heard they got him. What's the Page of Swords? Somebody, I heard they got him. What's the page of swords? Somebody feel like they... Six of wands, that's a yes for me. What's the page of swords? Ace of swords. Spirit said that's the damn truth. Ace of pentacles. Nine of pentacles. Two of pentacles. Two of cups. It's like somebody feels stuck in a situation. That's what they're not communicating to you. Trying to get out of a situation. Yeah, somebody was doing playing on this person on this person's mental. Mm -hmm. To keep them stuck. Maybe this that person, whoever that queen of wands is ever, they could be very attractive. Maybe this person likes something about them. Maybe um something about them that makes this person feel like, you know, I, I, I want to sleep with that person or make them think about that person where they feel like they can't move on. Anything else before I close this out, Holy Spirit? Two of swords. Okay. It's like they're not seeing something. What are they not seeing? What are they not seeing, Holy Spirit? Two of swords. What are they not seeing? Two of cups. Seven of pentacles. That something could work. Whoever's watching me, you could have been crying because that could have... You could, somebody emotions came through. That hurt it. Something could have heard it. What's the two of swords, Holy Spirit? Two of swords is the six of cups. And the chariot. That's what I'm saying. Wait, with the three of cups. Cancer energy. Somebody is not seeing that they're not stuck. Okay? Something about their past. Two of swords. Look how this little girl... Is looking at this cup from this older lady. Something about someone's past was holding them back. But spirit is saying with the three cups to the charity, you, you will be celebrating. There's a love that's coming in. The lovers with the chariot, the will of fortune, the justice card, two of pentacles, something is about to be balanced out. So this could have happened in the past. Thank the spirit. So all of this could have happened in the past. This was this was what uh, this what was holding someone back from coming towards you. You know, or, or making you know doing the right thing. I can't make it up. Ace of Swords came back out. Spirit said that's a damn truth, and I'm gonna leave it here. Ace of Swords came out three times. Spirit said that's a damn truth. Yeah. They had to heal and free themselves. 
see the truth. Somebody is cutting through it. They see the truth now. Ace of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Damn, I cracked the deck on. And Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Spirit. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles is going to create a, 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 a legacy together. Or that could just be, um, you know, you guys building a business together, you know? Somebody didn't see that with you because they felt like things was moving too fast, too soon. Okay. There's a love offer that's coming in for you. Let's get you guys some uh, angel messages before we close this out. Holy Spirit. Thank you. Archangel Raphael, I told you that somebody needed to hear you. Give me more. Hell from they, I cannot make it up. Ew, Archangel Raphael and parents. What did I say? Something that happened to this person in the past. You guys could be a vegan or a vegetarian. You yeah, cancel, clear, delete. You guys are like canceling out things that no longer serve you, that drain you, that keep you stuck. You or you and your person are doing that. Yeah, visualize success. Clear yourself of past life issue. This situation has a basics in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember, release, learn, heal from your past experiences. Somebody is clearing out the past. That's that dark night of the soul. I'm telling you. Anything else? Yeah, celebrate. Celebrate the journey. Anything else, Holy Spirit, before I close this out? Please and thank you. Intuition. Somebody is now listening to their intuition and they realizing, yeah, what do they need to release? Somebody's going to want your forgiveness and they're going to want to gift you with something. Mm -hmm. This person is ascending. Yeah, ascend in love. This love is ascending. Ooh, chat. Fertility. Mm. So you guys going to be birthed to things in all areas of your life, Spirit is saying. Protection from negativity. You guys are protected because I kept saying 444 earlier. This union is protected. It's like somebody wanted to have somebody in fear. Like, oh no, you know, it's not going to work. Everything about this joy is, is, is meant to be prosperous. Spirit knows, I can't make it up. Ascendant masters and visualize success. Spirit knows what they're doing, okay? When they put two people together. Ain't no, look, mediumship and twin flame. Visualize success and twin flame. Earth angel and twin flame. Whoever this empress be with will be the emperor or the empress. That's just how it go anyway, but... You are assigned to someone, okay? I love you guys so very much. I hope that this reading was able to help you guys, give you guys clarity on your situation. It's going to be different for all you guys. Take what resonates, sun seeds, and leave the rest behind. Whoever this reading is going to resonate to, congratulations on success in every area of your life. You can definitely look forward to that, okay? The sun card, not of pinnacles, Okay? It, whatever you choose to do, you choose to, you know, work on your connection with this person. If you choose to work on it singly, everything is going to be prosperous, okay? But Spirit is saying that person has free will. If they choose not to go through that awakening, that is their free will, okay? I'm hearing if they choose not to, okay? If somebody choose not to go through this, this is for soulmates, not twin flames. This is for soulmates, the oath is over. The oath. Okay? You are free. Your past cannot hold you back. Okay? 